the groundbreaking new breast cancer survivor guidelines. There are more than 3 million breast cancer survivors in the U.S., but until now, there was no clear plan for what to do once the treatment's over. So let's talk about that with Dr. Darshan Gandhi, an oncologist from Methodist Charlton Medical Center. Yeah, once they're out, you just, it's like poof, they're gone, but then what? There are so many issues, depression. What, what do people need to know post-cancer? Absolutely, I mean, we tend to focus so much on the treatment of cancer, and while they are actually getting the treatment, they get all the attention, after that, things are lost. The major issue is when the patient is being cared for cancer, it's really the oncologist taking care of the patient. Mm -hmm. What has to happen though is the primary care physician needs to get involved after the diagnosis, after the treatment has been completed. There are a lot of different things that they look at. Number one is screening for secondary cancers because mm -hmm. patient has cancer one time, they're always at risk for second cancer. Depression, mental health, physical activity, diet, exercise, long-term side effects from the treatments like chemotherapy, radiation treatment for breast cancer, surgery complications. There's a whole box of issues that come up after the treatment has been completed. Gosh, and that's even what they're heart trying. health there. So mm -hmm. you know, how do you keep track of all of this though? You just need to go to your doctor, your regular doctor every quarter. What is it that we need to do in order to maintain all of that? Absolutely. So until now, we really didn't have any good guidelines to do that. And that's what uh, the American Cancer mm -hmm. Society and ASCO have done is almost like a blueprint that you can follow look at all those guidelines and take care of the patient so in general seeing a primary care doctor uh, every three to four months mm -hmm. uh, for the first two years after cancer treatment and then you spread that out to every six to twelve months for three years so that's a five-year plan once you've been through five years is once a year I see and MRIs only for high-risk women Absolutely. What, what else for high-risk people? Uh, high-risk actually needs a lot of genetic counseling and okay. testing. So there's a lot of discussion that goes on with the patient and their family members. Uh, most important is for the women to get their mammograms on a regular basis. As we, we, we talked about some you other guidelines. You cannot be a slacker on that. That is for sure. Absolutely not. But bottom line, get the blueprint that they just put out yes. and follow it. Absolutely. All and right. there's something called survivorship care plan, which okay. is a wonderful asset, not just for the doctors, but for the patients as well. Okay. We need all the help we can get. Thanks for coming in and sharing that. Thank I appreciate it.